Uh, Democratic lawmakers continue to feel the pressure from protesters to defund police departments, but at least one U.S. senator says he agrees with President Trump to do the opposite and spend more on training. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Eric? Well, Tracy, that senator is Senator Rick Scott, Republican out of Florida. Now, listen to this. He calls defunding the police the single most irresponsible, ridiculous policy idea that he's ever heard of in his lifetime. Very strong words there. And he also adds that defunding the police would hurt struggling communities who need law enforcement the most. To not fund them, that means that, means that every community in our state or any place that you don't do that is going to be less safe. Senator Rick Scott wrote in an op-ed, defunding the police is lunacy, and no logical person would respond to this killing by suggesting the elimination or defunding of law enforcement. Some prominent Democrats are echoing that opinion. Nobody is going to defund the police. We can restructure the police forces, restructure, uh, reimagine uh, policing. That is what we're going to do. And today, Senator Rick Scott told me communities need good police officers. Every law enforcement member I've talked to since uh, the George Floyd thing happened is disgusted. They, they know that's, that shouldn't happen. They know it wasn't the right thing to do. They know those officers didn't do their job the right way, and they're disgusted. But what, we're not, we're not going we're not going to taint every member of law enforcement because uh, a few did the wrong thing. So let's figure out how to hold those few accountable. And Republicans largely agree. Now is not the time to follow the Democrats' plan to limit qualified immunity which protects police from lawsuits for money as a result for things they do in the course of their job. Anything that we can do to create more accountability, um, to have better training, I am all in. But from the standpoint that I want these same individuals that are putting their lives at risk, now to put their wallet at risk, I want to be very cautious to make any change there. Democratic Senator Chuck Schumer has repeatedly urged leader Mitch McConnell to pass some sort of police reform bill. Now, we just learned within the past few hours some breaking news that Republican senators have agreed to look at Senator Tim Scott's bill. And a vote could possibly take place at the end of this week or next week. So some big news from Capitol Hill. Tracy. All right. Thank you, Eric. Correspondent Eric Rosales reporting from Capitol Hill for us tonight.